welcome to my channel so within this video I'm going to show you how I do a cut crease a half cut crease so um, I posted a video on Instagram showing two eyeshadow looks a blue and an orange and orange will show you the video of how that looked or if you're interested in seeing how I did this eyeshadow look just keep on watching I already did um my full face if you want to see an updated foundation routine just give this video a thumbs up and i'll like do that for you so i didn't put no concealer on my eyelids because i'm already gonna like curve it cut the crease or whatever with concealer so i don't want to put too much product on my eyes because then it will crease so um, when i'm blending out my brows i will blend it like to here and set it with translucent powder. For this eyeshadow look, I'm gonna use one palette, which is the Juvia's Place palette, Nubian 2. It looks like this, with these beautiful shades. I'm gonna take this shade right here as my transition color. The transition color, I'm going back and forth. I'm doing the windshield wiper method. Their TV is really loud. I don't know if you can hear but her TV is damn loud. So, I'm gonna take this. Uh, it's from Walmart. Some Walmart brush. I'm gonna take this orange color right here. Morocco. Looking nice over there. And I'm just gonna blend down my crease. I'm going to take a light hand and build um, the color to how I want it to be. I don't want it too vibrant. So basically I'm still doing the windshield wiper method and I'm bringing it down to the edge of my eye, the corner of my eye. And I'm doing both the windshield wiper method and circular method as I reach to the end of the eye. Grab my product. Back with the Morphe R38 brush that I use first to just um, blend out any roughness. I'm doing the circular method for the. I want the orange to blend in with the transition color. Now. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Can y'all? I'm gonna take this Morphe M4112 brush. It's a very tapered brush, so I want most of the product to be in my crease. So we're doing the windshield or wipe motion and I reach the end and we're doing the circular method. I just took him what I said. That's a motion? Did I say motion? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going back and forth. It's circular right there. Back in with the same Walmart brush that I used with the orange to apply the orange to make sure the, uh, the color are combining together. I, I think that I like to do whenever I'm like doing eyeshadow, I like to have a mirror on me and I'll tilt it down to see that um, they're all blending perfectly. I'm not missing no area. Just looking at both eyes to make sure like they're even. Looks fine to me. Now we're gonna cut the crease. Um, Ruby Kisses um, HD Face Creator HD Contour Artist Cream. I'm just gonna use one of those to like. I'm using a Morphe M515. Brush. So 
So now this is the hardest part. It was hard for this eye, but with this eye, I don't think it's that bad for where that fold is. I go like <laughs> how do I explain this? I don't want to go over the crease. I'm gonna cut like that inner line. So let me just come up a little closer for you. So I'm gonna start right here. I don't want to go over the crease because that's where I'm going to put um, the other color or the gold color. And you want to tilt your mirror down to do this. I'm not doing a full cut crease, I'm doing a half cut crease because at the edge or the outer corner of my eye, I want to smoke it up. And if you make any mistake when you're doing this, don't worry. Just go back in with your brush and clean it up. Just, just, just like that. For example, say I go over right there. Say I go over here. Right? You're seeing the concealer peeking out. All I'm gonna do is take back this brush that I used for the last color should I no I'm not even gonna grab any more product I'm just gonna use it and yeah I need more product take back the same Kenya color and just buff it over where I made the mistake I think I grabbed too much product for this color I'm gonna take back that orange and buff it. What the hell is this? Okay, so I fixed that. This color right here. I'm gonna take a small black concealer brush. Brush. I'm just there's just water in this. Where I make the mistake, I'm just gonna reshape the line. I'm just gonna pat the product all over my lid. I'm gonna go back in with Kenya. I'm deep in the out of corner just like how I did over here Um, basically what I'm doing is I'm dragging the color inward and outward and up into the crease right here so in a V shape so I'm just basically putting more product in the outer V of the eye I'm just blending that out this product right here it's like a metallic type of thing and it's in bronze I'm just gonna put some on my hand. You want to make sure you're using like a nice detail brush to do this. Even when you're cutting the crease, make sure you're using like a nice detail brush. So I'm using this random brush that I have. I don't even know where I got it from. That's what I'm going to use. It's very small and detailed. So you want this, um, you want the gold to show, so you're putting that over your crease. So I'm putting this right here. Thank you. 
going to be I'm kind of like it's kind of messed up I don't I don't know if you could see okay let me just do it and I'll fix that And when I tilt my, it's probably too bad for you, but when I tilt it down, like it, I have to like clean that up. Like it went over the shiny part, so I'm grabbing more concealer to just clean that up and add more of the lid. Color on top of that. Whenever you're doing cut crease, yeah, you make mistakes time to time, but you could, it, you could fix it. No doubt, you can fix it. You can always fix makeup. Highlight my brow bone using that Forever 21 bronze palette. Let me use this shade right here. This Makeup Revolution palette. It's the, yeah. I'm gonna use this shade right here. And then I'm gonna take the gold on top of it. I'm just gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't really have any bottom lashes, I'm just begging for some right now. Like, I barely have any. This is the finished look. I'm just gonna show you both eyes. Maybe this is winged up, whatever, whatever. But, like, yeah. How did you guys like it? Did you like the eyeshadow look? I know it looks difficult, but if you keep on practicing, trust me, you'll get it. Especially um, because everyone has different eye shapes. So just practice it. Just keep on practicing. And you get it. Trust me, it was difficult for me too, especially with this eye. Cross like it. This eye took me longer than this eye. It's just too much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Look more.